So the Walmart Corporation is in deep trouble. And we're going to be discussing today on why they are in deep trouble. Now we are talking about Walmart and Sam's at the same time. They both are so overstocked with goods, it has created a very bad working conditions for their employees. And in some cases, even unsafe shopping experiences for their customers. We all have seen the stores. People have been reporting on it. People on this channel have even been commenting on what they have seen. Pilots that are stacked down aisles. You can't even get down to get the things you may want. How are they expect to move all these goods yet they keep cramming the floors fuller and fuller because they have no room in the back room. Any trailers they do have on a dock are crammed full. These people are trying to work and try to put out merchandise where there's no room. It doesn't make any sense. As a business standpoint, you would think that they would try to move this into other areas where maybe some of this stuff is selling, liquidate some of their overstock. Now they do have a program where you can buy liquidation pallets up to trailer loads. Maybe that's what they're gonna have to do. I think a lot of this stuff could be possibly put back into warehouses, into storage, on trailers, whatever, until next year when all this could roll out again and we put it back out like it's quote new product and it's been sitting around for over two years now because we're coming into the holiday season walmart typically usually starts setting up all their christmas stuff in july and august at least my stores so what are they going to do with all the overstock goods on lawn and garden and all that kind of stuff? Because that's where most of all the Christmas stuff goes. Gas grills, um, all that type of stuff. Maybe you'll get a good buy. Or maybe they'll push it all into a empty trailer, another container, and let it set until next spring when they can bring it out and tell you, oh, look at the brand new products and we got some good deals for you. I would caution people to be very cautious of what you are buying. And we're not talking about food products here, folks. We're talking about everything else that you're probably looking to purchase. Right now, a big thing is back to school. They have tons of it. But if they don't sell it all, what are they going to do with it? It's going to be either rolled back into the back room so they can start bringing out Halloween. That'll be the next one that'll be coming out. It'll be Halloween. They really don't do a lot for Thanksgiving because how we go from Halloween right into Christmas. And by then, they'll have their whole Christmas area already set up. So they'll be having Halloween and Christmas. And we all know that the container ships are still rolling in and they are moving goods into a lot of the areas. They already pre-bought a lot of this stuff, so they're stuck with it. Let's face the facts, folks. They're stuck with the products they have purchased pre, not knowing what was gonna take place. Guarantee somebody's head's gonna roll over this one, folks. Because, I mean, it's just one big mess. They're going to end up losing so much money. Yes, Walmart may be worth billions of dollars. But, how long can they sustain in having so much inventory as an overhead in a company before the walls come crumbling down? One has to ask themselves. So you may find yourself finding some great deals out there. 
You may be finding yourself you can't get to the good deals because the aisles are blocked. And you may be finding some good deals online and it's being shipped right to you, which is something that I would highly suggest you do. Just on the fact that you're more than likely in some of these stores, you're not going to be able to even get down the aisle to get what you want. And that's just a fact of life. So Walmart and Sam's are in the same boat. Because Sam's Club is the same as what Walmart is going through. The Sam's I deliver to, their back room is actually worse than what Walmart is. Because on Sam's, their floor is already crammed full. The racks are full all the way up, as high as they can go. They have merchandise that, are, that is everywhere. Anywhere they can put merchandise, there is merchandise. There's no more room, but they can't stop the trucks from coming in. There's trailers that are staged outside waiting to be unloaded. They have no room to put it. So as they slowly work out any product that they can get out as a sell product in the store, they can unload the product that is on the trailers that is setting out there in 100 plus degree weather every single day. Think about that, folks. Now, this isn't food products, okay? Let's be clear here. This is everything but food products. So we don't know where this is gonna go, but all I do know is, folks, Walmart Corporation is in trouble because of the high overhead that they have in inventory. And more of it is floating across the ocean as we speak right now. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope you all stay safe. You keep prepping. Maybe you can find some good deals out there that can make or break you in a emergency situation so till next time i'll catch you all on the flip side